All right, good morning. We're walking back to the trail. It's cold. Uh, and I think we have like, how many did you? 17 miles to Maine. Yeah. So I don't know if we'll make it there today, but we'll definitely make it there tomorrow. And we're gonna try to do as many miles as we can today for sure, because we resupplied for three days to get us to Andover. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's John. <laughs> he's, he's freezing. We tented at the <laughs> barn, as you saw. I didn't sleep fantastic. I don't think John did either. Not really sure what our awesome. problem. Not really sure what our problem is with sleeping lately. What do you mean? It was those trucks going by every two seconds, or she out, and then the train all night long. Oh, the train, yeah. That was the one too. The yeah, bag. yeah, yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, there's this cool river. I don't know what river this is. Niagara Falls, right there. Niagara Falls. Wow. I didn't know Niagara Falls was in New Hampshire. Uh huh. Are, oh, there's Niagara bugs? Falls, New Hampshire, and there's those are birds. <laughs> I don't know. There's some kind of plant right here. That's probably a power. Thing. Plant thing. Hydroelectrical. Hydroelectrical. Anyway, so there's a chance of rain today. Like every day. Uh, I, the guys at the hostel said that it was a pretty high chance of rain, but John says it's not as high as that. Well, there's a 70% chance at um, Gorm. That's going to rain sometime today. So it's going to rain sometime today. You know what that 70% is? 70% is the ratio of the how sure the weatherman is that it's going to rain and the percentage of coverage. Then it make a percentage out of that. That's how you get your weather percentage. Oh, well, there you go. John just gave you your science lesson for the day. I Googled it the other day. Oh, he Googled it. <laughs> Don't tell people that. You know that. You I know, know that now. You just know it off the top of your head. So Amy and I weighed our packs this morning. Uh, <clears throat> my base weight's at 16 and a half ish. And with food and water for today, three days of food. Uh, my bag was 25. Amy's was uh, base weight at 14 and a half. And I think for her food and water, she was at 24. I don't know what she's got going on in there. Her food bag only weighed five pounds. So, and she only had like a little over a liter of water. So I'm not really sure where all that weight was coming from. I'm not sure how accurate that scale was, but it seemed pretty, the numbers I got seemed pretty accurate. So I don't know, yeah. We're just still hiking. I love to hike. Not pretty sick of hiking. It's uh for a while now. I've uh, I have no I have zero motivation to become a through hiker or to even finish for that matter. The only thing that keeps me going is I don't want to be a quitter. All well, that and come over 1,800 miles, pretty much 1,900 miles now. You don't go 1,900 and quit. It's just stupid. So, we're just, Amy's over it too. And uh, we're just hanging in there. 
to uh, finish this up. Basically boils down to us being homesick, I think. I'm just sick of hiking. Hiking has gotten so boring. I've gotten so over the climbing mountains. It's so hard. I mean, the fact that, you know, we were in the whites and it was really hard didn't make it any better. That definitely made it worse. And now we're about to enter Southern Maine, so it's not like it's about to get better. But like I said, we're just hanging in there. Finish this thing up so we can go home. I'm sick of being around people who are like, oh my God, this view is so beautiful. It's so magical. Shut up. And then all the people that stop us and tell us we have to take side trails to see certain views because they're amazing. This is one of those things that you hate while you're doing it, but you like it afterwards. I mean, Scoutmaster said it. He said, it sucks the whole time you're doing it and you don't appreciate it until afterwards. I can see that. I don't know. Most of the people that we talk to, most of no, Nobos seem ready to get done. But none seem as ready as we are. Obviously, all the sobos and section hikers and hoop floppers, they're all chipper. I think I'm just, I don't know, I'm tired of it all. <laughs> all right, enough complaining. This is beautiful. Look at this climb. Uh, the rock. The climbs are so fun. The, the rock climbing. We're avid rock climbers, so we really enjoy this. Um, now, once you get to New Hampshire, you're not hiking anymore. Oh, it's amazing. The views, mainly the, the rock climbing, I really love. Like this one. It's just a little awkward. Got my foot down here. I got to get it up here while holding the camera so I can't grab that rock. So, we're just going to go over momentum. Ready? I hurt my finger. Did it for you guys. It does feel good that we're almost to Maine though. I'd be happy to see that sign. You hear so many mixed reviews on what the trail is like this way. Talked to some foot floppers. They said that we had 15 miles of hard stuff and it would be cruising. And then you hear from other people that you know all of Southern Maine is hard. And other people say it's the hardest part. But it's like really hard to gauge. Personally, I don't see how it can be any harder than New Hampshire. Like, uh, Mahoosic Notch or whatever it's called. I can't be any harder, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got a bunch of rocks that you're kind of jumping over, climbing up, climbing up that steep climb. You just don't see how that can be any harder. To make it any harder than it has been, it literally has to be vertical. And I doubt it's going to be vertical. But either way, no matter what it is, we're going to get through it. And hopefully we get to some easier terrain sooner than later. So we can turn the afterburners on and get out of here. 1900 miles, guys. I can't wait till we hit 1,192. <laughs> oh, man. 1,900. Come on, Don, tell us our predicament. It's 100% chance of rain now. Beginning at when? Starting at 2 and then the chance goes down around 9. 8 or 9. 
So we can either go to the shelter that's three miles away <clears throat> and get in there before the rain comes and not get many miles in today. Just, you know, be stuck out here for that much longer. <laughs> or we can hike in the rain and make it to where we want to make it to. But when we get there, the shelter is most likely going to be full because it'll be raining and we'll have to set up in the rain. So that's the decision we have to make is if we want to hike in the rain, set up in the rain, or just wait the rain out at the next shelter till tomorrow. So we will decide when we get there to the first shelter. I swear, what's really frustrating about the trail, like in places where like ordinary everyday people hike, is that I feel like there's barely any trail maintenance like we've been walking through trees that are like overgrown over the trail and then just like limbs all the way across the trail and it's just it's frustrating because you already have so many obstacles to climb or you know climb down from and then you've got all this other stuff going on so that's what frustrates me. I'm just ready to get somewhere before this rain starts because I do not want to be climbing over Mount Success and these other bigger mountains when it hits. It just started raining and we just got to the shelter and I think we're going to sleep in the shelter tonight. Hopefully no one else shows up yeah. <laughs> or very few people show up because we have our little corner of the shelter picked out right there. It's a nice little double decker. Hopefully I don't, uh, I remember to Duck your way out. Duck my way out when I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. It's kind of a bummer to do low miles, especially when we're like really wanting to get home. I don't know how many times I've said that, and I'm sorry that we've said that so many times, but. But it beats climbing a mountain in the rain, right? I, I do not want to climb that mountain in the rain. Mountain, mountain success. success. So here we are. At least the shelter is a nice view. Look at my legs, guys. All my scrapes and everything. A bunch of dirt. I was coming down a mountain just now, just like a few minutes ago. Coming down a hill and uh, there was a rock, like a point of a rock sticking out, and my knee went right into it. There it is. So I was limping for a little bit. I fought back the tears. <laughs> Made the right decision. <laughs> Dude, I wait too long and my kidneys have to hate me. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I really, I don't know what barefoot is. Baby Rock are doing. Yeah, they, they're getting spooked. They're getting another shower. Yeah. 